Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys how you can use layer groups in order to move lock scale and adjust multiple layers inside of GIMP all at once. So this can be really helpful when you need to keep the general layout of certain elements the same in sync with each other, but then needing to adjust their general position on the screen or scaling them up or down. So in order to create a layer group, you need to hit this button down here that looks like a folder. So it will say create a new layer group and add it to the image in the bottom right hand part of and now you can take any other layer that you have and drag it into the layer group so i'm left clicking on the layer of the gimp logo and i'm going to pull that into the layer group so you're looking for the dotted line that will go around this layer and that's how you know it's going to fall right inside of the layer group it is pretty easy to go too high or too low with that so make sure you look for the dotted line so now that we have a layer group with an item inside of it we can click on the layer group anytime we want to edit everything inside of it all at once and you'll see these dotted blue lines but before we go ahead and do that let's add another text element so i'll type in layer group here and I'll position it roughly where I want it to be. Let's say somewhere like there. So in this case, because I had layer group selected when I was adding a text element, it adds it to the layer group automatically, as you can see. If you didn't have it selected though, just once again, you just drag it into the layer group and look for the dotted white border around the layer group. Now, just like your normal layers, whatever is at the top of the layer group is going to show above the other ones. So if I pull this behind the text, you can see that the text displays on top of the GIMP logo. But if I change the ordering, inside of the layer group then that changes which gets rendered to the screen first okay so next i want to position this to the left of the text roughly where i want it to always be in relation to the text so let's say that this position here is good the text is roughly vertically centered so now if i want to reposition them both onto the screen i can go select my layer group so i left click layer group and you'll see the blue dotted line draws around all of the layers combined if you were now to just left click to try to move the layer group what tends to happen is that you end up selecting the individual layer instead so instead what we want to do is hold shift down so we move the active layer so select the layer group hold shift and now when we click on it we're going to be dragging the layer group which is the active layer in other words moving everything at once so we can position this in the middle of the screen maybe it would be handy right now to actually have a couple guides so i'll go to image guides new guide and let's add some guides so that it's easy to get into the center of the screen so one vertical guide and one horizontal guide okay to that now we can see the exact center of the screen so once again holding shift down when we click on the active layer which is the layer group and we can pull this into the center of our screen now at this point we probably want to use the scale tool because the image and the text is too big so i'll go up here to the toolbox we'll find the scale tool or we can hit shift s on the keyboard and now i'm going to left click to start scale our layer group layer I'm gonna hold shift down and I'm going to left click to start scaling our layer group so I'm gonna pull it inwards but I wanted to make sure it stays in the center of the screen so I'm gonna hold control down so that it scales around the center of our selected layer so now we could just scale this to the approximate size we want it to be and then we can go ahead and hit scale to commit it note one drawback of scaling text layers like this is that it's no longer going to be a text element so if i click on the text tool and we go down to the layer group text and i click on it you'll see confirm text editing so what's going to happen here if we hit edit is that the scaling we committed is going to basically be undone so because of that you using tools that aren't the text tool on a text layer might not necessarily be the best option because it becomes a little more tricky to edit them later on you might have to go in and resize it manually but if we're happy with this then we have both of these sub layers scaled and centered inside of our image so now about locking a layer group you can only lock by pixels so if you click here lock pixels you'll no longer be able to change any of the pixel information inside of it so if i go to a layer and i try to use a brush on it it will prevent me from doing that you can see at the bottom it'll say the active layers pixels are locked now some tools will still work like you can still take the text tool to the layer group text and go and edit it but in general, most of the typical changes you would make to items after you're done editing them are going to be prevented. So you can't use the scale tool on it anymore. And if you've already finished with the layer group, then that lock is going to be handy for you. So you can just kind of minimize it 
and then put it aside and start working on anything else you need in your image. And of course, lastly, if you want to hide a layer, <clears throat> and of course, lastly, if you want to hide everything in a layer group, it works the same as the layers. You just click on the little eyeball icon and that automatically hides everything inside of it. If you click on the empty space for the eyeball again, it'll reshow everything. This change also overrides everything below it. So if I tried to manually click on the eyeball icon and show it, you're unable to do that. So if you want anything at all to show in the layer group, then you have to enable the eyeball for the layer group. One last thing that's kind of handy about layer groups is that you can also change the composite mode of the layer group to affect everything beneath it. So if I click on the layer group and I go here to the mode for the layer, you can change it to something else. Let's just find something where we can actually see what's going on and you'll see that whatever mode we set here applies to all of the layers underneath it. So scrolling through the options here, if we wanted to apply the same mode to everything in the layer group, this is definitely a handy way to do it. So we don't need to click on each individual layer. And then to change it here, we can just do that up at the layer group on top. So in a nutshell, that's about everything you need to know about layer groups. If you're going to be working on documents with lots of layers, it can certainly be helpful to use them just because you can combine operations that you would apply to multiple layers, but all in one place by using layer groups. So that's going to be it for this video. I've been Chris. Hopefully you guys got something out of it and I'll see you guys in my future video content.